Okay, hope I can get on this lake. Oh my gosh, it's fine. I was a little concerned about the shorelines because it was like 40 degrees all day yesterday and raining and drizzle. They don't look too bad. There's one other vehicle here. I don't know where he's at. He either walked way around the corner of the other side of the lake or, or he walked around the corner where the other people are. There's three trucks on the other side where I wanted to go. I just didn't know what the ice would be like there. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to come over here. So I guess I'm going to go out in the shallow bay and drill a few holes. I'm going to give it like a half an hour. If I don't catch nothing, I'm going to move to where I wanted to fish to begin with. So, all right, let's get at her. Gotcha. Little bluegill. Gotcha. Another little guy. Yep. I was afraid this bay had probably just riddled with little ones since it's been getting pounded. But you never know. All right, new hole looks like I got a decent mark. Just off the bottom down there. See if we can get him to do anything. Come on up here. There we go, that one actually feels somewhat decent. He's a fighter. He's a digger. Oh yeah. That is a chunk right there, folks. That's a big one. Oh. Little bitty bone bug. That big old girl came up and sowed it. Here's another one. Feels okay. Not a monster, but seven and a half, probably. Gotcha. Another feels really good. I love when they bite like that, they just suck it down. Yeah. It's another good and big old slab. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Alright, I was tired of sitting over there in the wind, not marking anything, not catching anything. Just marking them every now and then, but I caught my three keepers right away. Well, not right away, but boom, boom, boom. And then like nothing. A couple little babies after that, so I figured, you know, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to end in the shallow bay here with the long rods. I'm just going to hop around for the next 
a little bit here and until I decide to call her quits. All right, a little gold colored uh, bone bug. See if we can get these finicky buggers over here to bite. I'm in about 11 feet of water, which is borderline too deep for the shocker. I can do her, but just a little, little tougher. There's a fish. So it doesn't feel very big, but he's digging. Probably a little perch. Oh, good guess, Luke. Good guess. Got him. Ooh. This one's got some dig. My line was just kind of going up. That's how I kind of knew that he was on there. I didn't feel nothing. Spring bomber didn't go down. Kind of just came up a little bit. That's a decent one. Yeah, that'll work right there. Any day of the week. Nice eight. Just a little over eight, probably. Perfect. Put them in here with uh, them two beggins and that dink. <laughs> Got four sandwiches. That's a wrap folks uh, we salvaged the day so it started out pretty tough out here uh, I started in this shallow bay with the shockers and I caught I don't know five or six dinks and then I decided there was enough ice I was gonna make a move and go a little deeper to a different part of the lake uh, where actually I used to spend most of my time and I haven't been there this year and I think I only fished it like once or twice last year my buddy did pretty good over there the other day um, so I decided to go check that out and as you can see I caught two donkeys over there and a borderline fish and then I spent a long time not catching anything but a couple perches that big I uh, decided I'm gonna make a move and uh, come back over here out of the wind and get in and I'm like you know I'm just gonna fish the top of this bay um, right on the break where most of this bay is like 10 feet deep and then right here it starts dropping 
a little bit and then there's a big ledge where it gets to the main lake and I was right at that about 11 feet mark and actually this is where where I caught one of my big bluegills that's getting mounted a big 10 incher and I got a few today that are pretty close a couple of really big ones but everything today was caught in the bone bug they were finicky they didn't want anything to do with the fluke uh I don't know but it's pretty cool when you can catch them on that little of a bait tiny little bait three millimeter uh tungsten lucky lady i think is what i was using today by widowmaker it's uh purple with i think like a light blue on the other side and gold bone bug and mud bug bone bug were the two colors that i was using today I am having a ton of fun out here ice fishing this year. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that right now. Hit the bell so that you get notified and don't miss any videos. Clobber that thumbs up button. That helps me out. Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you are never too fat to fish.